Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of another hobby grade charger. This is the Esheen Touch T100. Uh, this is a 100 watt touch screen charger, multi chemistry, uh, multi cell. You, know, you can do lipo, nickel metal hydride, um, all the way up to 6S. We've got our balance plugs here on the side, and that's where you plug in your charging cable. And as you can see, the display is really nice and easy to read and clear and everything so then you you know you can pick your battery type what kind of charging you want to do uh, i'm not exactly sure what a fast charge does versus just a normal charge when you set your own charge rate so kind of weird there but it does do a storage charge and balance charging you can set you know what size battery you've got and then there's settings and you can um, you can save your settings so if you've got a bunch of different um, you know batteries that you charge regularly you could have your save you know save settings for each so you can just pick that instead of sitting there and you know programming the charge rate and the you know cell count and everything every single time uh, so that's pretty cool and then you know as it's charging you can press these different buttons to turn on and off what you see on the graph so that's really cool and then it has um each of your cells over here so it shows you know the the uh, voltage on each cell so you can monitor them as they fill and know uh, what charge they've got and i found you know the touch screen to be really precise and works well i haven't had any problem you know touching the buttons that i i want and getting it to work and whatnot uh, so you know really really nice charger i think it looks really cool and it kind of has this um you know rubberized sort of almost suede feeling plastic so it's got a nice feel to it and then it does come with uh you know you've got your standard um what is that ac plug or bad power source and then you've also got a dc power source here so you can connect that to a battery to power it out at the field or whatever and then it does come with one charging cable with the T-plug or the Dean's plug as they call it. And then it comes with this cool little adapter here which plugs onto that T-plug. And then you've got an XT60 plug on this side. So that's another popular uh, plug type. So between those two, that covers a lot of the different plug types. Uh, but then, you know, you can go out and buy or make all sorts of different charging cables for all your other, you know, types of plugs that you may have or need um let's see so it can charge anywhere from 0.1 amp all the way up to 7 amps so a wide range of charging rates uh, the storage charge charges the battery to 3.80 volts uh, per cell sometimes they charge a 3.85 but i'm not sure if it really matters anyway this one charges to 3.80 uh, let's see, there is no on-off switch, so it's just, you know, one of these ones where when it's plugged in, it's always on, which, you know, not really that convenient if you've got it set up on a workbench or something like that. You've got to either have it plugged into a power switch so you can switch on and off, or you're plugging it in and out every single time. And I have noticed that sometimes the fan can make pretty weird sounds when it like first spins up. It can make, you know, some rattling. I think it kind of gets some oscillation until it gets up to speed and then it gets nice and quiet. Uh, so every once in a while you may hear some weird sounds come out of it, but it doesn't seem to last. So I'm not too concerned about it. Um, yeah, and that looks like that's really all there is to say about it. So again, you know, I think it's a... A really nice charger. I like the touchscreen convenience of it, and you know, with the uh, balance ports all built right into it, you know, it's this is it. This is the whole thing, and then your charging cable. So you don't got a bunch of extra stuff with it, and it's just a nice, clean, all-around package. Uh, so if you don't have a hobby grade charger yet, it's definitely something to consider. And this is another one uh, on the list. The Esheen seems to be coming out with some pretty good chargers now. So. Alright, well thanks for watching. Check the video description for a price and purchase link, and I'll see you next time.